Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am standing in front of XO's Outdoor Barbecue. This is the 42 inch variant. XO is the newest line of outdoor barbecues that we're carrying this year. They are produced by the company that formerly distributed Lynx grills. So what they did is they were able to take all the Lynx specifications based and make a grill that's gonna be the same specs and dimensions and come in at a lower price point. So let's take a look inside and show you the features and see what you think. Starting with the front, it's a beautiful, elegant look. Your temperature gauge right in the middle, it's gonna give you a spring-assisted lid, so it's easy to open even if you don't have a lot of strength. Anyone can come up to this, open and close it. Your six-year-old's gonna have no problem doing it. Starting at the top, you're going to have two halogen lights on the inside to illuminate your cooking surface. You're gonna have the rotisserie as well. The rotisserie on this unit is going to attach to the side and will require a separate 110 outlet. It slides in and out. The motor slides in and out so you could safely store it away when you're not using it. This shelf also drops in and out easily, so giving you extra room for your buns or burgers that you're just trying to keep warm. Going to the inside, you have four separate zones in here. The one on the far right is their infrared searing zone. This will get to a thousand degrees and get so in about a minute. Great for making steaks. It's great for doing veggies. It's great for doing fish. It's gonna be able to get to temperature very fast and lower temperature very fast. It's not using any briquettes. What it is not great for is hamburgers. You don't wanna sear a hamburger or cook a hamburger at a thousand degrees. You want it to be much lower. Taking a look at the other burners on the inside of here, it's going to give you the the ceramic briquettes that you'd see similar to that you saw in the Wolf Grill and the Lynx Grill. So your fat's gonna drop down onto these and the flavor's gonna go back into your food. What's below this briquette is a 22,000 BTU stainless burner in an H shape. Your heat's gonna be the same in the front as the back and you're not gonna have the cold and hot spots in your grill. What makes them very unique is that let's just say you wanted to have another sear burner in this grill. You like searing, you like that high heat, you're able to take this, this burner out and install a sear burner in it. It's a separate accessory, but it does give you a lot of flexibility. The grates are going to be stainless steel, so they'll be durable and last a long time. Since it does come in at a lower price point, it's not gonna use the same electric or nine volt ignition that the com competition use. This does have a switch on ignition, so it's manual ignition, it's called the flamethrower ignitions. It's going to be very reliable you're not gonna have to worry about power. If you don't have power, it's still going to work. What I will say is this grill does need power to run the lights, both on the inside and the blue LED lights that light it up at night. So it does give you that great look, but you don't need it to light the ignition on it. For the people at home who wanna know the inside cooking area of this grill, from the grate to the grate, it's going to be 39 and 5 8 inches wide. and 22 and a quarter inches deep. So it's gonna give you a lot of space for your party. Just note, like I've said in the other videos before, if you are having a party and you're cooking hamburgers or sausages, this area is not going to be really functional for that. So just note that in that case, you're going to have about 29 and 3 8 inches of width for that entertainment area. Just to keep in mind, food for thought, for when you're pondering which grill is best for you. If you have any other questions, make sure you call the store, comment on our channel. We're more than happy to help. Hope to see you soon.